well. The migrants being in those hotels have destroyed them. There's a lot of alcohol in these rooms. Housekeeping is there all week and they'll clean it. And by the end of the night, it's, it's, there's kids getting drunk together. There's people hooking up with each other. There's multiple guns in these rooms as well. The all right, welcome back to Reality Check. Now, today we're gonna be discussing the migrant issue that's going on in nyc me i'm in nyc right now so i could literally just take a train and go go look wherever it's at to see if it's really going on and it's really going on you know everything is at an all-time high in the city right now but right now we have a whistleblower that's exposing everything that's going on where the migrants are staying the benefits that they're getting Let's get into it. It's a side administrator at the Row Hotel. So in the hotel, we have close to 5,000 migrants. If anything involving this hotel, I was helping run it. Everything ranging from doctor's visits to medication is paid for for the migrants. Anything you can possibly think of, it's being given to them. Car seats, cribs for newborns, uh, there's I want to say at least two to three babies a week being born at this hotel. The migrants being in those hotels have destroyed them. There's a lot of alcohol in these rooms. Housekeeping is there all week and they'll clean it. And by the end of the night, it's it's there's kids getting drunk together. There's people hooking up with each other. There's multiple guns in these rooms as well. The alarming thing is that this hotel is meant to be a family hotel. You were actually showing me some text messages between a social worker about a drunk 10-year-old in this hotel. Can you talk to us about what happened there? Yeah, it was a drunk 10-year-old who was caught with a 14 and a 12-year-old, and all three of them were intoxicated. And when we looked them up in the system, the parents had checked out two days ago. So the parents just left them there? Yeah, the parents will leave the kids unattended in the hotel. We heard a security guard start yelling, uh, there's a gun on site, there's a gun on site. It was probably an upset person that we had kicked out of the hotel. I myself had been assaulted. I've seen other people get assaulted. I've had threats saying, you know, we'll be waiting for you guys outside. There's been times where staff has had to be, you know, escorted to their cars, to their, to their trains. Because the migrants are threatening them. Yeah. Often at times there was migrants causing chaos with, with shoplifting. The one instant where I showed you that video, uh, aside from being caught shoplifting, they started getting physical. And a lot of the times it was, you know, go calm the migrant down, get them inside the hotel. I've been doing this for five years. And in my five years, this has been the worst experience by far. The city of New York does not know what they're doing and it's only gonna get worse from here. All right, so this issue is very personal for me because I migrated from Jamaica. Um, I migrated from Jamaica in 99. Um, my grandmother filed for me. And, you know, I came to this country, worked hard, became a citizen, started enjoying the benefits of the country after becoming a citizen. Um, you know, went through the proper channels, do what is expected. You know, you get the file for the government, say if, you have, if, if you're granted access to the country or you're denied. And I was granted access, so I came and got an opportunity, worked hard, became a citizen. And I could enjoy the benefits of being a citizen, you know? With that being said, with me migrating from another country, I also know a lot of people that's in this country illegally, and they don't get the same benefits that these migrants are getting. I know of people that's been in this country for years, trying their best to try to obtain legal status. And it's hard on them, you know? And they don't have the same benefits. They don't have the housing. They don't have the health care. They don't have none of these things that these migrants are getting. You know, and with that being said, I can see the 
what what everyone is getting upset about, you know, because it's literally taking all the resources for the legal residents as here and giving it to um, legals, basically, you know. But I think they should set up a program where these people could go through the proper channels to file the motions that they need to file to gain legal status or to be denied if that's the case like everyone else who's coming to the country let me know what you think comment below let me know don't forget to subscribe share I'm out